Hello, my name is Terence Barr. I'm a Senior Technologist and Product Manager at Oracle. Today I would like to give you an introduction into Java ME8. First, I would like to look at the rise of the Internet of Things and the drivers behind Java ME8. The Internet of Things is the third IT revolution. The host era was about proprietary hard and software and multiple people sharing one machine. In the PC era, the shift happened to more open hard and software and individual devices per person. Today, devices are becoming cheaper, smaller, smarter, and more connected, and we are now seeing an explosion of such devices driving the Internet of Things era, where there will be many more devices than people. These devices will be taking on a variety of functions across many industries and fields, from industrial control, environmental monitoring, logistics, transportation, smart energy, telehealth, and many more, making our world smarter and more efficient. Many people call this the third IT revolution. Due to the pervasive and interconnected nature of these devices, scalability can only be achieved by hardware and software that is based on standards and interoperable. The Internet of Things offers many opportunities to make our world smarter, but is also creating a number of challenges. With this third IT revolution comes a new set of challenges the embedded industry is facing. Software is becoming an ever more critical component to make these devices smart and useful. Capabilities such as remote software download and updates, platform and application security, and support for the many types of I.O. which might be required, can place great demands on the organization developing, deploying, and supporting embedded solutions. Some of the questions you need to ask yourself. I need to support a number of different devices. How can I do this without having to re-implement my solution multiple times? How do I make sure my devices are secure and the data is kept private? My devices are in remote locations. How do I access and control them? My devices need to be out there for 10 plus years. How do I maintain, update and manage devices once in the field? Cellular communication is expensive. How do I minimize data traffic? I need to integrate with existing infrastructure and protocols. Are those supported? How do I develop software efficiently across a large number of products? I cannot afford to develop a technology stack from scratch. How do I leverage existing components and reduce my time to market? Java ME is designed to address key challenges in the Internet of Things. First, Java ME is a modern embedded software platform. It provides a robust, secure, cross-platform execution environment. Software modularity, coupled with remote application provisioning and management, allows you to create, deploy and update software securely and extend product lifetime and add product value over time while reducing cost and risk. Second, Java ME 8 features an efficient software development and deployment model. It addresses many of the challenges of traditional embedded software development, such as platform dependencies, native code complexities, and proprietary tooling and languages, and allows you to develop your software solutions using the efficient Java language and mature tooling and thus accelerate your time to market. Because of the unified development model, Java code and expertise is easily portable, so you can benefit from the economies of scale by applying existing solutions to other use cases. And you can innovate even faster by leveraging the expertise of 9 million Java developers. Third, the Java ME8 design allows you to address a wide range of use cases and target devices with a single software model by optimizing and right-sizing the platform to fit the needs of your use case. And finally, Java ME is an open standard and interoperable with many other technologies, which allows you to avoid vendor lock-in and participate in a broad ecosystem of innovation, solutions and partners. Let's go into some details of Java ME8. Java ME8 has three main themes. Java ME8 is a major step towards alignment of the Java ME and SE platforms to enable a unified developer experience and ecosystem. Java ME8 is a dedicated embedded application platform to address the needs of the embedded market. 
and Java ME 8 addresses a wide range of use cases and markets with new functionality. Some of the key features and components of Java ME 8 are CLDC 8, which provides an updated virtual machine and alignment with Java SE. MEEP8, which defines a modern embedded application platform on top of CLDC 8. A number of new features and APIs, programming interfaces, designed to address a wide range of requirements and use cases. Improved configurability of the platform, which allows the solution to be optimized for footprint down to target devices with as little as 128 kilobytes of RAM and 1 megabyte flash or ROM. Java ME 8 is a horizontal embedded application platform targeting small to mid-range embedded devices, covering a wide range of use cases and market targets. Some examples of such embedded devices are intelligent edge devices, communication nodes, healthcare devices, smart sensors, smart meters, and other IoT and machine-to-machine -machine solutions. Let's have a high-level look at an example of a Java ME8 solution stack. Java ME8 is architected to be a horizontal application platform which provides the base infrastructure of commonly required features and execution of software in a robust and secure manner. This base can be extended and specialized for particular use cases or industry domains by adding layers of functionality on top. At the bottom of the platform we see CLDC 8 or the Connected Limited Device Configuration, which is the core Java VM execution environment. Above CLDC 8 is MEEP 8 or the Java ME Embedded Profile, which provides the application environment. CLDC 8 and MEEP 8 are supported by additional components. The Device I.O. API, the Generic Connection Framework or GCF 8, and the Security and Trust Services API, SATSA. We will look at CLDC 8 and MEEP 8 in more detail in a minute. The Device I.O. API is a programming interface which allows Java applications to access and control hardware devices and peripherals and enables to implement use case specific hardware functionality very easily and in a cross-platform manner. The Generic Connection Framework provides a set of interfaces which allow applications to access and control a variety of connectivity and associated options for both wired and wireless interfaces. Finally, the Security and Trust Services API is a collection of security-related functionality for use by applications, such as encryption and decryption, handling of credentials, and more. These components form the base of the Java ME8 platform. Additional components and APIs can be layered on top to provide a specialized platform to meet the requirements of a range of similar use cases or industry segments. Some possible examples of extensions are shown here in the diagram. Finally, the applications at the top implement the functionality and business logic needed for a particular embedded solution or customer. By leveraging all the platform functionality present in the layers below, the applications can be developed very efficiently and remain small and focused. It is important to note that all Java ME 8 applications are built using common platform functionality, common application concepts, and common development methodology. This enables code and expertise to translate easily, increasing reuse and scalability of your software, and allowing you to address new use cases, solutions, and even new industries with reduced time to market and cost. Let's have a look at some of the key features CLDC 8 provides. CLDC 8 supports most of the Java SE 8 language features as well as a number of APIs brought over from Java SE. So Java SE developers will feel right at home on CLDC 8 and code is easily portable between Java ME, Java SE and within the Java ecosystem. CLDC 8 also includes the updated Generic Connection Framework APIs, including support for the latest standards for secure connectivity. Despite all these new features, CLDC 8 remains very small and in fact enables further reductions in size, both at the platform as well as the application level. And CLDC 8 is fully backwards compatible to ensure existing code and libraries can easily migrate to Java ME 8. 
MEEP8 provides a software platform with a number of key features. MEEP8 is built on CLDC 8, and this means that MEEP8 leverages all the CLDC 8 language features, APIs, and the permissions model to align with Java SE 8, making application development more streamlined. MEEP8 adds API optionality and profile sets. This is a critical feature which allows the footprint and resource requirements of a particular deployment of a Java ME8 platform to be minimized based on the features required by the applications that will run on it. Profile sets are well-defined sets of optional functionality for different use cases and types of target devices. This design allows Java ME8 platforms to scale across a wide range of target devices and use cases, all the way down to single-chip microcontroller solutions with very limited resources. MEEP8 supports software provisioning and management, which is built-in functionality for remote software deployment, management, and monitoring, which enables you to update and manage software on target devices in the field in a robust and predictable manner. Java ME8 enables modular software. A service-enabled software model allows partitioning of the application logic into dedicated modules that work together collaboratively on the target system. These components can be updated individually as needed, reducing the overall development effort, complexity, and footprint. MEEP8 focuses on connective use cases by providing support for advanced connectivity to optimize wireless communications. And finally, MEEP8 features an improved security model which allows customized functionality for authentication and authorization of software components based on the specific deployment policies. Here are some examples of products where Java ME8 could be used wireless modules and gateways, industrial control and telemetry units, smart meters and smart sensors, e-health and telehealth medical equipment, and general Internet of Things and machine-to-machine -machine solutions. Let's spend a minute on tools. A key benefit of the Java platform is the mature and efficient development model and tooling. Java ME8 is supported by the Java ME SDK, or Software Developer Toolkit, which provides dedicated functionality for rapid development of embedded Java ME applications. The Java ME SDK also features plugins for popular IDEs, such as NetBeans and Eclipse, to provide a full-featured, integrated development environment. As a result, Java offers a unified development experience across Java platforms both in terms of code portability and tooling, enabling the entire ecosystem of 9 million Java developers and partners to develop Java embedded solutions. With that short introduction, let's summarize. Java ME8 is designed to be the platform of choice for the Internet of Things space. Java ME8 enables rapid development of software functionality, code reuse, and leveraging of expertise of the Java developer community. It offers a modular and manageable software environment to deliver valuable software functionality to your products in the field while reducing risk, cost, and time to market. And as security is becoming ever more important, Java ME8 offers an enhanced security model with the flexibility for specialized deployment scenarios. Java ME8 increases the market reach of your software and products because it allows you to use a single software model to scale from very small target devices to more powerful embedded systems by optimizing the platform for the use case and reducing hardware cost. And finally, and this is especially critical for embedded solutions which often have to last 5, 10 or maybe even 15 years, Java ME is an open, future-proof technology with a committed roadmap. It allows you to participate in the evolution of the standard itself and participate in the broader ecosystem of solutions and related standards, as well as leverage the innovation and partnerships the vibrant Java ecosystem provides. Let's wrap up with a call to action. Java ME8 is available as early access binaries for popular development platforms. Download it today and try it out. 
You can also learn more about Java ME8 by reviewing the CLDC8 and MEEP8 specifications on the Java Community Process website. And finally, you can keep abreast with the latest developments in the Java embedded space by following me on Twitter or reading my blog. Thank you for watching.